A horrifying situation avoided mm. in East Memphis. A woman who was out jogging when a person inside a dark vehicle pulled up next to her and attempt, attempted to kidnap her. Good evening, I'm Joe Burke. I'm Joy Redmond. The would-be kidnappers got away from the scene after the young woman was able to get away. Action News 5's Parker King spoke with a witness and joins us in studio with more details. Parker, horrifying just doesn't describe this. A absolutely, Joe and Joy. This happened in broad daylight, like you said, just when people were getting dropped off the school bus before 3 p.m. Wednesday afternoon. And this is when kids, like I said, this is a time where people's in broad daylight, when this vehicle pulls up and something to pick up. Laura Slavney was washing dishes Wednesday afternoon. When the sound of a loud muffler from a car coming down the road caught her attention from her kitchen window. I just happened to look up and this lady was walking with her dog. What happened next was once described as an attempted kidnapping. Slavney says the victim was walking down this sidewalk with her dog on Chainwell Avenue. A dark colored vehicle with tinted windows was coming in the opposite direction. When the two were parallel, Slavney says the car threw itself in reverse and followed her. The passenger rear door opened. I knew exactly instinctively something bad was happening. She did too. She screamed, took off running. In the meantime, I ran to my garage. Slavney and her husband were both home meeting the victim whose name we're leaving out of this outside. The vehicle, which is only described as a dark gray car with rear damage and no hubcaps, fled the scene. We were all just standing out there talking and we were like, what just happened and what do you think they were doing? It was very scary. She thought she was being kidnapped. Though a horrifying fate was avoided that afternoon, Slavney says her neighborhood association will be making some tweaks to further be on its guard should this ever happen again. It's so sad that you have, yeah, things like this just don't happen in our neighborhood. So the description of the two people inside the vehicle are very vague at this point. The victim said they were black men wearing ski masks, gloves, and long sleeve shirts. Sky cops could be seen in the neighborhood. Nevertheless, any information on this vehicle or the incident is asked to be reported to Memphis police. Live in studio, Parker King, Action News 5.